Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper dragon with all you need is scissors, the amazing scissors, either tape, a hot glue stick, or a hot glue gun, I'm using a hot glue gun, and then some paper. So, first you grab one piece of paper, and then... Do that. Fold it a little bit. And keep folding. Until we have that. And then, take your hot glue gun or tape. You're going to glue it down the edge of this so that this stays down. Also guys, don't burn yourself if you're using hot glue. So, should be like that, not opening. Okay, and then once you have that, make sure it's nice and folded, then Fold it again, like fold it into a triangle, like that. So it should be opening like that. And if it's like, if it's like there's a piece over top, that's fine. What we're going to do is just trim the ends. You don't have to, that's optional. So then you should have that. Set that aside. And we're gonna make another one of those, but we're gonna make it a little thinner so it looks a little nicer. So what I like to do is make a small flap of a tinier one and then roll it like that. So it should be rolled like that. And then once it's rolled, then flatten it out. Sometimes it's going to be not the size that you choose, but it's a little thinner. Like you don't have to make it thinner, but it looks better when it is thinner. And then you do the same thing basically. Go down like that. So it doesn't open. And then the same thing. Fold it. And then trim it if you want. And see if they're the same size or not. It doesn't matter if they are or not. Mine aren't. But it doesn't matter if they are or aren't. I don't even know why I said that. So, take two pieces of paper. Next, take two pieces of paper. Put them down like that. And then fold it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but fold it like that. Then, I forgot to tell, but pencil, pen, marker, anything. Then grab the bigger piece. Actually, it doesn't matter which piece. But then, actually, okay, just grab the marker instead so you can see it better. But just draw the inside line of it so it should be like a triangle. And then you're going to draw a V on the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to bring it down. Okay. I'll do it like that. Like that. Then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. 
does not have to be perfect at all. Like that. So it should look like that. About. And then grab your scissors and cut it out. By the way, be very careful with scissors. Don't want to hurt yourself. Should be like that. Now don't take them out of each other because you have five of them. So fold it on the line like this. So I folded this on the line. So it should be like that. Kind of. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it should look like that. If you're crying in the background, that's my guinea pigs because they're really noisy. Okay, like that. And then, now you can take them all out. Make sure. You should have four of them now. Okay. You need those. Make sure you don't lose them. Then. Your glue gun ran out of glue sticks and just put them back, put some more in. Because mine did, and I'm just going to do that real quickly. So I'm a dresser, but that's okay. Okay. Oopsie poopsies. Aww. Well, that's just sad. Technical difficulties. Okay. Then grab one of your triangle pieces and glue it around the edge like that. Like on there. So I'm just gonna do that. Like there. Can't see that on the camera. Along those edges. Then grab one of these pieces, and this triangle, and put it through there, like that. Sometimes it doesn't always glue, but that's okay. Like that. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you without gluing it. So you would glue it on those pieces and then you would put it in on the top so that's like that so then you have your own thing so we're going to do that again Once it's glued on, it should look like that. So you can put your hand inside like that. Yeah. And then you might see some of it like there. If you want, you don't have to do this. It doesn't really matter at all. But you can just trim it off. Then you're going to do the exact same thing with the other one. You're going to grab it, then put it in with the glue. No, 
it might be a bit bigger on the other, on the tinier piece, but that's okay because you can just trim it off afterwards. Afterwards, or now, because I'm just going to trim it off now. Like that. And you do the exact same thing with the bottom. I glued it onto the base, but that it doesn't really matter. You can glue it onto the like, triangle pieces like these, or you can glue it on to that type. Doesn't matter at all, but yeah. Then just trim. Now you have your bottom piece. And you have your base. But it's not attached, so we're gonna attach it now. You can use okay, so just about I know it feels like my guinea pigs have no food, but trust me, they have a bunch of food, but it's full. Once you have your piece, make sure that they fit into both of them. Cut your piece. Fold it. And then put glue on it. There. And then attach it. Onto either one. Now it's on there. And then glue right there. Once it's glued, the bottom piece attach it so that it ties the bottom piece. There you go. You have your base. But I'm just going to show you how to make the dragon part of it. Now, it doesn't matter which you do, it will look good either way. You can draw it on like this. You can just You can just draw, wait, let me just, you can draw just on the base. It doesn't matter what you do, but that's not what I do. For me, I like to grab another piece of paper and then fold it. And then I draw my design. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna sketch it, like not do it good at all, because I'm not putting too much detail in it, but You can just draw it on there. And then cut it out so it's the same. I folded it so that it's on, it looks the same on each side. So just, by the way, I doubt anyone wants it, but you can steal that design because I'm definitely not going to use it. But it's cut out, and you have the other piece that you can design on it. By the way, if you are doing it this way, 
Make sure the piece is facing the other way like that, so it's, and not like the same direction, because then you have to do it on the back. That's happened to me before, and it's a pain in the butt, even if you spent like an hour on it. It's really sad. You can make it totally different too, like, say this, I want this side to be different. Like that. Then, you glue it on. Like that. I'm just gonna glue it on. So I'm gonna do the glue stick again. Just glue it on. And the same on the other side. And then you can either, and then on the bottom of it, like for this side, you can just design it however you want. Like that. But I only give it one hand. If you want, how I do it is set on a hand and, the, and an ear on the bottom. I would grab a piece of paper. And then just draw it and then cut it out and glue it on. So I'm just going to do that real quickly. You don't have to fold it, but I'm just going to fold it because I'm a chicken nugget. That is not a very good ear, but it doesn't matter. I decided to cut it out, then you stick it and glue it on. Like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue it on. Oh my god. I got my guinea pigs had babies and the babies are so squeaky right now. And then draw a hand. And then just glue it on like that. So it doesn't matter if you want to do that or not, but I have your thread in there. Now you have your dragon. I'm just going to do a little transition because I'm bored. Probably won't be that good, but we can try it anyways. It probably wasn't very good, but yeah, that's how you make a dragon. Bye!